Right then, uh, the element that really is going to make this scene look awesome is the projector we're going to set up. All the lighting effects around there are going to look ace. Um, so let's start working on that. I just want to frame everything up. The first thing I want to do is just move the planet and um, the projector towards the centre of the room a little bit more so that they're going to be in pretty much every shot that we're going to render because this is the bit that looks cool. So I'm going to switch to my four view and I'm just going to move it to about maybe a little bit off centre, maybe there. And that should allow me to get it in more shots as I'm moving my camera around. So that's that bit done. Right, let's create another light then. Um, this one's going to be a spotlight. So, uh, we need to go to Create, Lights, and Spotlight. Give it a click. And inevitably, it goes into the floor. Awesome. Um, what we need to do, oh, having these lights on is slowing me down. I'm actually going to go back down to just, there we go, being able to see the textures and the default lights because I'm getting a little bit of lag now because I'm working on a crappy laptop. Okay, so we're going to move this light within this projector so that it looks like light is being projected out and that these planets will be the result of that. So, what we need to do, first of all, is switch view um, and make sure that we've got um, the outliner open, I think. Not outliner, channel box, because I want to rotate this as well. So, let's move to the four view and I'm going to use this to position my light. So I already know that I want this light to be in the center of this shape, which is about there. Okay, uh, and within this view, I know that I want to rotate this so that it's looking up as well. So I'm gonna switch my rotate tool and I'm just gonna grab this manipulator. And I can see that it's rotating on the X axis. So I'm just gonna type 90 in that box to make sure it's pointing up perfectly. Bosh love it okay now it's just about fine-tuning so let's make sure that it's within there if it was below this bit here the light wouldn't be able to penetrate the shape so it needs to be above this little cone that we've created okay so that's now in the right place we just now need to change a couple more of the attributes so let's go to the attribute editor what we need to change is um, the cone angle. So at the moment it's 40 degrees but we're just going to move this manipulator until it's almost the same as the shape we've created. So there we go, that's now following that. Awesome. Um, and the other thing we need to change is the penumbra angle which softens the edge of the spotlight. Okay, so there we go, penumbra angles at zero at the moment, we want that to be on 30 and bosh. Now you won't see anything change but when we render that's just going to look much better. Um, so at this stage let's do a render and see how that's affected the scene. At the moment it should look pretty crummy still uh, but let's check the progress see if anything happens at all. So let's try and render that. Okay so we can see it's lighting the underside of the planets but we want to be able to see um, the light actually hitting the air as if there's dust particles. So we'll attack that bad boy in the next video.